welcome. And this is the Wayne Bacard Show. The I 3D TV. Welcome to BI 3D TV, the Wayne Bacard Show. An illustrious career, music career, for my next guest. She's better known for her long-standing work with the legendary Incognito, also gracing the stage with the iconic Chaka Khan, getting a personal thank you from Nile Rogers uh, for covering Easier Love. Um, and I've actually seen that personal message. And later on went to work with the great man himself, but I could go on. She's done heaps and loads. Uh, but now it's time for Imani in her own entity and right. Um, the new album is Standing Tall. It's her first solo project, yes, her first, um, which is the main reason she's here talking to me, and I'm so looking forward to when it finally drops. So without further ado, it's my absolute pleasure in introducing Imani to the show. How are you? I'm really good, thank You're you. Good? Yeah, it's an absolute pleasure to be here, yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming. Right, um, from time to time, um, I like to think uh, I get a basic sense of an artist in spite of their previous material. I mean, I recently listened to Found My Light, is that right? The yes, acoustic Found My Light, yeah. 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 Right? Um, was that the epiphany moment for you when you decided your direction needed to change? Um, was it that that galvanised you into making your th first solo, solo album or was it something else? Um, when Found My Light came out, I was already working on my solo album. <laughs> okay. Uh, they had already been the seeds had already been sown, right. and our initial writing mm -hmm. had begun on the album. But okay. I'm always writing. I've been writing for many years okay. for various different things, mm -hmm. and that song was pivotal. It's a more of a pivotal life moment than a pivotal music moment. Okay, it was just recognizing that mm -hmm. I've come to a new place yeah. as a mother. Okay. Uh, uh, understanding love in a different way, mm -hmm. and um, it just it, it opened my eyes. Actually, it made me. It made me view not only just my life, music, everything mm -hmm. about myself differently. And that song encapsulates yeah. me growing up, okay. I think. Okay. So, um, so what, what actually made you want to do? Because you've, you've, done, you've done a lot. Yeah. But this album seems very special. What kind of pushed you to sort of like get it done? Me, had, it, had it been planned for a long time? Um, I... I I tell that for me, it was meeting the right person okay. to to partner up with and yep. to to throw ideas mm -hmm. at and with, and somebody who could tr could understand me. As I say, I've done a lot of writing over the years, yeah. mm -hmm. um, not necessarily with people that are, are, are good at finding the true me. Yeah, you know, I'm not. I don't play, so that doesn't help. Okay. You need someone around who you can bounce mm -hmm. off, and trying to find your own sound is not an easy thing. Okay. But I hooked up with uh, a man called Kevin Leo, who I know you know yeah. well, mm -hmm. and um, that was it. Sparks just flew for me. Okay. He's he just knows how to make me sound like me, yeah. how to get thoughts out of my head that I didn't even know were there. Okay. How to make me sing in ways that I didn't know I could. Sing. You know, I was like, did I do that? Sometimes I, I like he plays yeah. back, and I'm like, was that? Was I? Did yeah, of I? Yeah, yeah. I hear that. Um, yeah. It had to be an album. Yeah. It had to be an album from the first session. It had yeah. to be an album. Yeah. Brilliant. Right, so is there a concept um, for the new album, Standing Tall? The yeah, album Standing Tall. Because um, I've got to tell you, I mean, on hearing the snippet alone from the from that track, you, you can more or less just get by on that snip. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. But but how much are you sort of kind of laying your cards emotionally um, speaking on the table with with Standing Tall, the new album? Uh, I mean, yeah, some of it is personal. Some of it's pretty personal yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. And some of it isn't. Some of it's just for the joy of writing about yeah. situations that mm -hmm. we have seen, things that we've experienced. Yeah. It might be we're putting ourselves in someone else's shoes to yeah. write the story of whatever their love life or, the, you know, their fight, the struggle yeah. of life. Yeah. Um, some of it's quite personal, absolutely. Um, and am I laying myself bare? I'll tell you what, it's, for me, it's just it's cathartic, this mm -hmm. album. It has been a labour of love. Yeah. It's about putting my soul finally on that plate, yeah. you know, bearing a bit of Imani. Yeah. As, you, as you've mentioned, I've done a lot of stuff with a lot of people. I've been very, very lucky in yeah. my career. But um, I'm not sure if anybody actually knows me 
yeah. and what I feel like. Mm -hmm. The concept of the album is the many layers of me, the different types of music that I like, mm -hmm. the fact that I'm obsessed with a hook. Yeah. Absolutely obsessed with a hook. Mm -hmm. I need hooks in music, I need hooks in melody, I need hooks in lyric. Mm -hmm. That's the music I want to listen to. Yeah. And by working with Kevin, yeah. I've managed to come up with an album that for me, it's something I'd want to listen to if I wasn't singing on it, because I remember those hooks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Was there a lot of sifting? Because there's a lot of songs. There's, yeah, there was. There was. We wrote I a lot more. I the impression there was a lot of songs, and there was a lot of sifting out. There was a lot more. Um, I'm not, it's not even to say that they weren't strong. Yeah. Um, I think we just we had to just knock out those that... There was, if there was any doubt, if there was any question that it didn't belong in this particular body yeah. of work, we removed it. Yeah. So we wrote uh, almost double the amount that's on the album and then removed, sifted down. And I think I have no regrets on what was taken out. To be honest, some of that stuff will resurface because right. it is strong. It just wasn't appropriate for this mm -hmm. body of work. Right. Okay. So, and, and speaking purely from a kind of artistic point of view, mm. um, is it a breath, breath of fresh air for you, growth, all those sort of things? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, Having a product that you're proud of, mm. most definitely breath of fresh air. Yeah. Being able to showcase yourself, mm -hmm. uh, in, in, to, to have the light shone on me as me. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? As I say, it yeah. always harks back to the work I've done with other people, but yeah. uh, now the world's going to get to see and hear me for me. That's, that is a breath of fresh air. It's a beautiful Why thing. Why so long to do your, your very, your very, I mean, this is your first album. It's my it? first your, album. Very, first solo album. It's my first solo album. But like I say, I've been writing, I've, been, I've, I've done a lot of stuff over the years, which in different genres of music, which mm. I've thoroughly enjoyed. And I think I've managed to get a bit of my personality across in that way. Yeah. Um, was it taking so long? I mean, I've Is it about feeling ready? Did yeah, you, I'm did, ready did, now. Did, did, weren't you ready in the past? Or an opportunity presented itself? Was it like that? Um, I've, had a, I've had a few times in my life where I think now's the time. This yeah. is it. I'm going to write loads of stuff. Yeah. This is going to be the album. Mm. But the body of work okay. didn't come together cohesively. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I didn't want to put anything out, just throw something out that's yeah. pointless. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to wait until I found. Yeah. And I tell you, that was about finding the right producer. Okay. Like I say, I've worked with a few people. <laughs> okay. And it's, it's all down to the producer. Yeah. You know, if you're lucky enough that you can produce yourself, then fantastic. Yeah. But if, if you're not, then you need to be with yeah. someone who can draw yeah. that inner strength out of you. Yeah. It's not and just I about was, great concepts and great. It's yeah, I mean, you need to be a people person. I can, I can sing la la all day long, but it's not necessarily going to come across. Blah, exactly, blah, blah, exactly, all that sort of exactly. Things. Excellent stuff. Yeah. So, so who led you on this trip? Thanks for that, by the way. Yeah. So, um, who led you on this train that you can't seem to get off of? All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, how did it all start for you? I mean, I mean, this kind of this singing songwriting thing that you do. Um, did it all start out, out as a bit of a laugh? Was it a bit of a laugh? Um, as, as it normally does for a lot of people. I mean, who, who were you listening to back then? Um, wow, I grew up listening to everyone from Dionne Warwick, my yeah. dad's house, Dionne Warwick. Um, gosh, I think back to them old records. My dad's a Calypso kind of old mento. He's Jamaican. Mm -hmm. Not much reggae, actually. Okay. The reggae was something that I found. Yeah. Obviously, you know, the dreads are part of my mm -hmm. discovery of music. Yeah. And it's a name that's a very familiar name across the world. And, but for me, Bob Marley's voice... Bob Marley's lyrics, Bob Marley's spirit. Mm -hmm. I think that probably woke me up. Mm -hmm. You know, I love music all my life. Yeah, but I used to listen to that hard when yeah. I was young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it woke me up. Mm -hmm. There's a message in this man's music. Mm -hmm. You know, recently when the film the, the, the film came out and I went and watched it, I was in tears. Because it's yeah. like, yeah, that's because of, because of you. Yeah. Well, you the know, documentary, was it? The documentary, yeah. really. And I thought I knew everything there was to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I learned a lot in that film. Yeah. yeah. Um, what about lyricists as well? I mean, as well as great, and then we all have our great vocalists, but yeah, you're a songwriter, yeah. so there must have been. Well, obviously, you mentioned Bob Marley. Oh, songwriters: um, Stevie songwriting. Wonder, Donny Hathaway, yes, course, um, yeah. Al yeah. Green. Um, okay. The love of Al okay, Green. Okay, you mentioned much. But oh my word! Yeah. Old soul. That's yeah. for me. Yeah. I love reggae. It's 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 part of me, yeah. but the soul end of my life. Mm -hmm. Wow, Al Green, yeah. Gladys Knight, okay. oh, Shaka Khan. Which vocalist actually sort of like nailed it for you? This is it. It's this actually, is I'll be honest, it'd be a mix of three. Okay. It would be Gladys. Okay. Plus Shaka. Yeah. 
plus Gwen McRae. Okay. There is something about that woman's voice mm. that touches me deeply. Yeah. She's just the soul right there. And I've always tried to blend the three of them yeah. and try and bring a little bit of my love for all of them across in the way that I sing. Mm. Um, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks for that. Also, also, I, I, mean, I like to think I know what makes an artist tick. Um, and once again, um, in spite of the gifts that people were thrust upon you, um, there are sort of like individuals we need to help us, inspire us, um, give us that kick, mm. um, and to remind us why we're here. Do you know what I mean? Um, and tell me about the great and powerful vocalist Jocelyn Brown. I mean, she was quite significant. She was very um, significant. Um, yeah. In affecting your music career, is that right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I met Justin Brown completely by chance. Yeah. I uh, moved from from uh, Derby okay. to London. My family's based in Derby, and I just I wanted adventure. I had no idea what I was going to do. I didn't come. I didn't come to London for music. Yeah. And uh, chance meeting with a guy on a train mm -hmm. ended up with uh, him taking me to a party. Let me take you to a party. I'm a record producer. I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay, took me to Justin Brown's house. Mm. Literally, wow. the door opens, it's Justin. Her like house. Her house. <laughs> you know, God works in mysterious yes. ways. Whether you believe or you don't believe, some yeah. things happen to you in Definitely life and you know you've been put on a path and you need yeah. to keep walking. Mm -hmm. um, I was taken to her house. The door opens, Justin's. Hi, girl, come on in and eat. Wow. And that lady welcomed me into her home mm. and... Uh, into her life, really. It, you know, we made friends there and then. Yeah. And I remember because I told this brother that I was a singer, he was like, yeah, she sings, she sings. I knew the, song, the, the words to one song back then, Off By Heart, and it was yeah. Layla Hathaway's Baby, Baby, Don't Cry. Oh Do you remember that tune? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I stood in the back garden singing it for, you know, Ruby Turner was there, if I remember rightly, wow. little house party vibe. It was, honestly, it was terrifying. It was a couple of boys oh, from Aswad party, there. It was wicked. Ooh. Like, welcome to the welcome to your new life. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I sang that, and I don't know people. Okay. People like the way it sounded. Yeah, yeah. Then it, you know I hung out at Jocelyn's. Okay. I was lucky enough to you know I did a bit of writing there with her daughter. Very very early days, and um, one day Jocelyn said, "Do you want to come and see a video being made?" Mm. I'm like, <laughs> I yeah. would love to yeah. see a video. I ended up being a dancer mm. uh, behind a screen, a shadow. Okay. in a video for a song called She Got Soul. I will mm -hmm. never forget it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jocelyn said to me, you know, you're not on the payroll, but you need to get paid because yeah. in this business, if you, mm. you know, you've contributed something. Yeah, yeah. She yeah, emptied yeah. her purse that day wow. and gave me the contents of her purse. Oh my God. I was like, wow, this is definitely my new life. It's a special moment. Man. She's a special lady. She's a special lady. Wow. I'm very, 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 I, I, I think... You know, I'm a blessed woman. Yeah, yeah. People have always uh, mm. given themselves, given of themselves to yeah. me, and I try and do that in return. You know, so yeah. And Did Jocelyn give me my break? She definitely gave me my break. I love, I love every time I hook up with Jocelyn, and yeah, I'm lucky enough yeah, to see her yeah. throughout the course okay. of my career. Well, she'll be listening to that. She'll be on the floor crying her, crying her eyes out. <laughs> Auntie you know Jay, yeah. she knows I love her. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> right, so time has passed, yeah. Yeah. Um, work and success is pretty consistent, I'm assuming. Um, however, your ears are listening to different sounds and genres. Mm. Um, you, uh, you get a taste and you think, I want some of that. Mm. Um, has it been that way for you, checking out left field artists, left field, left field genres, new genres? Um, if so, what are they? Because I, I, that's the impression that I get of you, especially after listening oh, to okay. Standing Tall. Um New album. I just appreciate all music. I've yeah. a very eclectic taste. Yeah. Has it always been that way? Or it's always been you... that way. Oh, okay. It's always been that way, but it's a hook for me. It's yeah. a hook. There's a lot of beautiful music out there, mm -hmm. but I don't want to hear a 10 minute song about clouds that doesn't have a chorus. Yeah. I, I, I need something that I can remember when I, I walk it. away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so that's why, that's why I've done a lot of dance music. Okay. You know, dance music is hook, 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 yeah. hook, hook, yeah. hook, draws yeah. me in. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love seeing people dance to it, and I love the effect that a hook has when they yeah. sing it when they walk away. I love mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, reggae does that, mm -hmm. you know. But no, in my head, I'm an old soulie, you know. Yeah. There's a lot of modern music that is not touching me. It's not Nothing touching of late, no. <sighs> I'm going to struggle. Well, the, here. the reason why I say that because yeah. I've, I listen, I've listened to Standing Tall, and I'm thinking there's a lot going on here, yeah. which I really wasn't really aware 
of you. Okay. Do you understand? So I'm yeah. thinking, well, what, what has she been listening to that fans of Amani not aware of? Do you know what I mean? Well, oh, wow. Or is it just, you just have that gift of picking up great songs, great hooks. Oh, I wish I could like, take the melodic, credit. <laughs> do you know what I, mean? I wish I could take the credit for every hook on yeah, this yeah, album. Yeah, this yeah, is not the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin and I meet minds. We stand, we sit in the studio and it's a quick thing. Yeah. Um, this brother plays some keys. Yeah. I'm gonna ask <laughs> and you that stuff in, falls out of I'm your gonna, gonna, stuff might him. fall out, stuff falls out of him. Next thing you know, you've got a song. Yeah. Um he knows my 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 love for all things hooky. Yeah. And he plays to my strengths. All right. You know, he knows that I'm a rootsy kind of character. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you heard on the album, there's African child. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the very yeah. core. Yeah. You know, and he knows, like, he just knows I like to, one of those, so you know, so oh, yeah, hip hop basic. and, yeah, yeah it's yeah. Uh, very simple and very works, basic and very, works. yeah, it's yeah. honest. Okay. And speaking of Kevin. Yes. Yeah. Now, the ever versatile Kevin. The, the ever versatile yeah. Kevin. Yeah. Um, he's with you on this new album. Yes. And is he at the helm? Is, is it a collaborative production um, <laughs> between the two of you? What was the situation? It's, it's a bit, he's at the helm and it's collaborative. Yeah, it's, okay. a bit, it's not an either yeah. or, it's a definite both. Um, mm. He has written, mm. we've co-written, he's produced, yeah. he's engineered, <laughs> he's uh, recorded. <laughs> There's really not much Kevin Leo has not done okay. on this album. Yeah. It, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's a lot of, it's yeah, his yeah. soul. Yeah in the middle of it all, okay. you know. Um, and he's, as I say, he's helped me draw stuff out of myself and that's a talent in a producer. That's a yeah. very rare and beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, and the, the thing about Mr. Kevin Leo, Mr. Talented Kevin Leo, is he plays. Yeah. He plays mm -hmm. and he plays yeah. and he can even play yeah. if he wants to. There's yeah, not yeah. really much that he can't yeah. touch and make sound yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So his versatility mm -hmm. is all over that record. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not just uh, anyone could be gifted. Yeah. But it's a little bit more. There must be more going on in terms of having all those gifts. He was able to draw whatever it was yeah. for you to complete standing tall. Here it is. He doesn't take any rubbish from me. Where well, I've been around a while. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. He doesn't yeah, take yeah, any yeah. rubbish from it, me. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Um, yeah, I've been in this business quite a while. Yeah. And you'll find that people, when you write together or they're mm -hmm. producing you, are very, so everyone's respectful because, you yeah. know, that's, that's yeah. the way the world goes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's already, yeah, it sounds amazing. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, it's fantastic. Just yeah, yeah. one more take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin be like, no, it's not happening. <laughs> oh, I could say I don't like it. It's like, yeah. I didn't sing it, you know, it's yeah. you sing it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And I love that about him yeah, because yeah, yeah. that's, it that's takes great. an honest person to get an honest product. Mm. And I can rely on this man to tell me straight. Yeah. You know, therefore I can be straight. Yeah. Therefore the music can be straight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I believe that the product that we have, that standing tool, is a very honest representation mm -hmm. of me. Yeah. Because he's made that the case. Excellent. Like, I'm not taking no rubbish from you, Imani. Yeah, 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 yeah. You might have sung here and there, yeah. but listen, you're going to sing properly in this year's studio yeah. here now. So. Right. Yeah. Well, my next question was going to be, what's, what's the progress on the album? But the album, is it, is it The album's finished? finished. The album's finished. You know, it's, it's, the video is just up, in fact, today, I believe. The excellent. video is up today. Excellent. Ooh. Excellent. Excellent. So we're going to start flooding your world with that yep. uh, in the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. And then we'll set a proper date for a, pro a, a full release. Cool. And um, cool, cool. yeah, in this day and age, it's very difficult to put dates on things. Yes, you know, the, course, the, the business course, is not course. like that anymore. So, you know. Right. We've, we've spoken a bit about Kevin. Thanks mm. very much for that, by the way. We spoke a bit about Kevin. Mm. Kevin Leo, but I undo my research on your good self. I mean, you made reference to your to your band. Mm. Um, is that still the case? Do you have Do you still have your own band? Are they involved in the album? Yeah. Who are they? My band is all over this album. Yeah. I couldn't have done it without them, okay. um, and they're very important to me. Yeah. Uh, in in the world that I've lived in, and in all the sessions and all the bits I've done for you know various bands, mm -hmm. my band has remained true and strong. Okay. Uh, pivotal for me is Michael Bailey. Okay my bass player, MD. Yeah. Um, he's just been with me forever. He's more than just a bass player. He brings a level of calm to the stage. <laughs> Knowing that Michael Bailey is behind yeah, me yeah, 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 yeah. makes everything possible. Right. I don't really gig okay. without Michael. Okay. Um, currently, my that's lineup. Great. Yeah, that's I don't, you know, I've had him for years and, you know, we're, we're great friends. We're very blessed individual, man. That's what I'm telling I told you this. Yeah. So I have to mention Michael Bailey yeah, okay. first and foremost. Mm -hmm. 
because the, the sound that he brings is very melodic player. I know a lot of fantastic musicians, mm -hmm. amazing musicians, yeah. but my band is specifically chosen to give me mm -hmm. a specific sound mm -hmm. that once again is I'm trying to reflect myself. Yeah. Uh, and Michael helps me do that. Uh, beautiful bass player, yeah. beautiful person. Um, I have Alex Bennett, mm -hmm. um, Keys, mm -hmm. who's a passionate, very passionate okay. man, plays amazing. Yeah. We call him the professor, mm -hmm. lots of chords, amazing guy. Yeah. Um, Wesley Joseph on drums, mm -hmm. Dave Eitel on guitar, okay. uh, and also Emlyn Francis okay. on guitar, co writer, well, the writer of Standing Tall. Right. Um, have I missed anyone out? No, that's the core of my band. Right. Yeah. And they're all on the album. They're all on the album. Brilliant. The album wouldn't, it wouldn't exist without them. I mean, oh. at the end of the day, it was all made with them in mind. Right. Okay. Cool. You know. Major props for them. Yeah. Major props for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but for now, how can we kind of keep abreast of what's going on in the world of Omani? On the WWWs, man. On the Ws, yeah. <laughs> all the Ws, all the Ws. Um, yeah, I've got my website. You can okay. come and check me there. That's Imani.net. Okay. You can check my Twitter page, which mm -hmm. is The Imani. Okay. You can check Facebook, mm -hmm. Imani. Okay. Cool. <laughs> or you can Google me, failing all of that. If you can't yeah. find, if you, can, you know, your brain's frying, how do I find Imani? Right. Just Google Imani. Right. And I'm going to be all over that. Excellent stuff. But yeah, constantly posting, keep, you know, dates will be up there. New music's going to come. Cool. You know, the video's up there. Mm -hmm. If anybody's ready to listen, yeah. have a look at Imani.net. Check so the video's up, up right now. Okay. Video's up today. Excellent stuff. Really very, very yeah. proud. Yeah. Once again, surrounded by love. Mm -hmm. um, and it was filmed with a lovely man called Mike McKenzie. Okay. Once again, Kevin, Kevin Leo. Yeah. <laughs> <Good home>. Directing. <laughs> Kevin and Mike, I'd say. Okay, okay. Uh, cool. And it's, it's it, a labour of love for those guys, yeah. definitely. Yeah. They put their heart and soul into that. And I'm really proud to stand up in Thanks. front of that video. Cool. Yeah. Okay. But listen, major, major luck with that album. Thank you yeah. so much. I love it. Oh, I'm really pleased. Yeah. I'm I really pleased. Bit. I love it to bits, yeah. Um, but uh, watch this space. Imani, standing tall. Yeah. Coming Come for you. soon. <laughs> okay, but thanks for coming. Much My appreciated. My pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Take care.